at the atomic level, we all are physics. At the molecular level, we all are chemistry. And at the cellular level, we are a biology, right? So, at with this, with the understanding of all these concepts, today I bring to you molecular docking, a powerful tool used in drug discovery and designing. And today I'm not just going to talk about the importance of this tool in your career, but also what exactly it is, why you should study, and how it is going to help you. So let's get started. So to start with, what is molecular docking? Now this technology came into being somewhere in 1980s and since then it has evolved a lot. A lot of work has been done on this. It's a very basic and important component of today's drug discovery process. Now you see, uh, drug discovery process is a very, very costly process, a very uh, capital intensive, work intensive process. and takes a lot of time to develop one drug molecule okay now that was when it was in wet lab now scientists found out that what if we could transform or translate everything into a computer inside a computer and mimic or simulate and find out which drug is the best for this particular disease or for this particular um, um, interaction so that's what is molecular docking about this is the technology or technique or tool we use to find out which drug is the best among the moieties which are available to us. So basically it is it helps us in uh, you know predicting the interactions that can hold a protein and a ligand in the bound state. So basically it helps us to predict. So now why this prediction is so important because suppose if I say okay you do the same thing in wet lab it will take you years together. But here by the click of a button you can do it you can simulate you can convert your ideas into hypothesis faster okay so that's where this comes this becomes a go-to tool for scientists for researchers and for drug designers now it's a key tool in structural uh, molecular biology and CADD which is computer assisted drug design now whenever you have to visualize uh, these molecules you can do this under CADD computer assisted drug design and that is where your understanding uh, of the uh, drug interaction improves and you'll be able to predict you'll be able to uh, tell how long it will be uh, you know uh, bound together and what will be the interaction everything can be predicted right inside this tool so molecular docking is a tool which accelerates now you see in today's era it's all about speed isn't it so we we had the amazon.com which used to ship us in two days now uh, we have the zepto which ships us in 10 minutes right so what's happening speed is the need of the hour and of course when drug discovery is such a costly process definitely it requires a tool which will accelerate okay which will accelerate the speed of drug discovery and molecular docking saves a lot of money for the scientists for the companies that is why it is in huge demand now let's move on to the next one which is the importance of drug, uh, drug molecular docking now now it is used to understand the drug biomolecular interactions for the rational drug design and discovery it can be used to perform virtual screening of large libraries of compounds now let's say uh, for any particular uh, disease or uh, this particular we have a category of drugs now which we don't know which functional group will bind perfectly will have a better interaction so if we have a large library of compounds we can easily filter out okay this one should work better than others and then we can rank the results okay so we, we can say that this one did better than the previous one did this better than the previous one so basically like i said at the you know molecular level we are chemistry right so this is where molecular docking helps us predict the chemistry of the drug and the ligand. It helps us propose a structural hypothesis of how ligands inhibit the drug which is invaluable in 
lead optimization. So basically, if we have this lead which we want to optimize, we can easily do so. We can easily find out, okay, this is the proposed structural hypothesis of how ligands will inhibit the target. So we can just find out, okay, which particular lead, which particular mon molecule is best optimized and we can further optimize it. It also helps us predict the 3D structure of any complex. Moving on, it is used to develop more potent, selective and efficient drug candidates. Now, you see efficiency is everything. Scientists spend hours together to find out which particular drug moiety will be much more potent than the previous one or the existing drugs in the market. And then it is used to be selective and efficient. So efficiency is everything. Suppose in the market you have paracetamol and there is a better version of paracetamol which acts better. So obviously you will switch to that. So scientists are always on a lookout, but you can't really visualize molecules uh, just like that. So you need softwares of molecular docking. This tool is very much important and prominent here. Now it has got initial prediction of drug binding properties to nucleic acid. Now you see uh, the at the RNA level, at the DNA level, how the drug is binding to the uh, nucleic acid, that particular uh, things can be predicted here. And that is why medicinal chemists love this tool. Any, uh, you know, uh, biopharma company you go and you talk to the drug designing team or the research and development team or the product marketing team they will say that see the need of the hour is better efficient more potent drugs which easily get approved by FDA so now medicinal chemists are on a lookout constantly to elucidate the underlying anti-cancer mechanism of suppose a drug or anti-HIV mechanism whatever is a disease they are always on a lookout for the better version of the existing drug or a altogether a new drug now all that cannot be done in a wet lab it can be done virtually in a computing environment faster and that is why I wish to tell you you must pay attention to this particular technology you must you know internalize this technology and use it for your benefit in your career now the next question would be how exactly it is going to help you in your career so first thing i want to highlight here is see the universities are giving you a degree which is not at par with the industry the university is here the industry is here Okay, so university can never match the level. By the time they'll design a syllabus which will be at par with the today's industry, university, the industry would have moved 20 years further. Okay, that is why you always need to upskill, reskill, and cross skill and update your knowledge. Okay, so that you stay relevant in the industry. You go to the industry, you go to a research RD team, they're going to ask you. Now, look at this. Your COVID, uh, the vaccine which was de developed by Moderna was developed by a bioinformatician inside a computer, right? And that bioinformatician was an Indian, right? And so that means bioinformatics is actually taking the world by storm and all the future vaccines, all the future molecules are going to be designed inside a computer and not in wet lab. So that means you need to learn these techn technologies and techniques if you want to be at the forefront of these research companies, okay, whether it is Pfizer, Biocon, or you name it, any company, you they are using this particular tool. Now, next, you can see this is a line which is a very much true in today's era. Diseases are ever evolving. In past, like two years, you have seen at least 10 new variants of the same COVID, right? Omicron or this, that, everything we had. So diseases are ever evolving at a faster pace, okay? Combine that with the pollution, combine that with genetic mutations, we are looking at a biological catastrophe in the future. And I'm not just predicting it, I'm telling you that molecular docking and bioinformatics is going to be the savior in that kind of a biological catastrophe. So this technology is the only solution to keep up with the changing dynamics so this is all about your molecular docking now molecular docking is one of the one among the most essential weapons in your arsenal 
for you know for interview when you go for interview you mention that you have done your certification or your internship in molecular docking you know these softwares they are going to pay attention because obviously they're working in the same tool most of the research these days inherently requires you to come equipped with these tools it's like okay um, you apply for any job it's understood that you should know computers the same way if you apply for any biotech job biopharma job it's understood that you should know this particular technique now if you want to progress faster in your career amongst your peer, you want to get promoted, you want to be at the forefront of technology, this is where you need to help, you know, help yourself stick out, stand out, okay? So it's a basic tool. So it goes without saying that is most important part of, going to be a most important part of your CV, your career. So I think this is a perfect combination. If you have a biosciences degree, go for it because this is the future guys and who can learn if you have an internet connection you can always learn molecular docking all you need is a degree a basic degree in life sciences to learn molecular uh, docking even if you're a doctor you can still learn molecular docking so bsc btech msc mtech mbbs phd md all of you can enroll teachers can enroll into this course which we are having and if you're a biosciences enthusiast also still if you want to learn this particular course which biotechnica brings to you is uh, available so now what are the modules i would like to highlight here so you have the basic chemistry um, review and drug discovery biomolecular structures 3d modeling and 3d structure determination then you have predicting the protein structure structure based drug design, force fields inter and intramolecular interactions, combinatorial library design and atomic constants and further to that introduction to the software used in molecular docking demonstration and hands-on will be provided. So this is all about the modules which Biotechnica is providing for your molecular docking certification course. A lot of students have already availed it so it's time for you to take advantage. Now what exactly is included here? Biotechnica is a well-known name in the biosciences industry 15 and a half years we have been into this industry everybody knows biotechnica so a hard copy certificate will be provided to all the students who enroll into this course the link is given in the description it's an international quality course developed by post doctorates and phds who have themselves worked on in this this particular tool for several years now as soon as you uh, enroll in the course you immediately get an email within 15 seconds and you're account will be activated you will get unlimited lifetime access now why do we do that because you know molecular docking itself is a evolving techno technology and technique so whatever updates we will do to the future course even you'll get that so you're getting a lifetime access unlimited access you can access it anytime any number of times and it will be all yours now this is a career oriented course it helps you upskill it it helps you reskill it helps you stand out of the crowd and yes what if after, while doing the course you get some doubts you have 24 into 7 chat support to answer all your queries now this with this i would like to highlight biotechnica has been right there to you know guide you mentor you support you in all these years and all I'm saying is this particular course which hardly cost you 999 rupees can change your life so all you have to do is you have to get started the link is given in the description otherwise I'm mentioning it here visit btnk.org slash docking you will be redirected to a biotechnica stores where you can place your order and you can get started with molecular docking now with this we come to an end of our session but i would like to remind you if you are a learner today only then you can be a leader of tomorrow remember fear is not how you are going to win the world if you want to lead the world then you need knowledge you need solid knowledge and you need the leaders of today to prepare you for tomorrow biotechnica is a world-renowned leader in biosciences we've been doing this day in and day out and today we invite all of you to join our molecular docking certification course so that we can make and prove this quotation right just for you thank you so much for watching this video it was wonderful interacting with you all of all over again and i am going to meet you soon in our next video till then take care bye bye